Day one of the Masters here, um, great conditions weather-wise, surf-wise, very uh, calm and uh, equal for everyone today, so yeah, it's uh, great racing and good to see. the 70s and that was the surf race we just completed and it's a long swim. The last half was pretty tough, a little bit of chop on the way out, no assistance on the way back, swim all the way. I joined Bondi Surf Club in December 1962, so 59 years at the end of this year and I've been at Port Macquarie for 48 of them. Oh, 45 plus uh, flags, so yeah, it's pretty soft sand here today but I've uh, been doing a bit of work so paid off. Our age group is, is the golden age of surf life saving come through. I think the 80s and 90s was huge in surf club and now a lot of people involved in that era will all come back with their kids and all that sort of stuff so it's great good for their mental health as well as physical. It's always a big achievement to take out the Ironman because it's the hardest race um, and it's what all of us, all the competitors spend so much time training that we can put it in today and have results that we do. There's a couple of new faces which is always nice and um, a couple of oldies and we love to catch up. It's the first time we've ever done the iron so it's a massive achievement just to get around the cans personally. She's done her first ski race and first Ironman race today and she smashed it. <laughs> we get up 5.30 in the morning to train um, two days a week throughout the week and then 6.30 on the weekends. Um, and then we'll be in the pool of a night time. So probably six to eight sessions a week and for masters and most of us still work full time. It's um, a bit asked, but we love it. We love the camaraderie that we have with one another and um, totally supported by a fantastic club. Big Paul Lamont maybe made it look as easy as Jacko did on the weekend, but um, this reminds me as a parent how hard it is <laughs> to do that race. So when I'm standing on the sideline going, why does he swim faster? I know exactly what he's feeling. Great, it, it's fantastic to be, um, you know, having the opportunity to compete against icons of the sport like Paul, um, and then at Aussies to, you know, compete against the Kennys. You know, it's fantastic. It's, it's nice to put your foot on the line with your childhood idols. I don't do it for the titles, I just do it to get out there and what we've all gone through in the last 12 months, I just don't take anything for granted and just enjoy getting out there and competing and meeting up with friends who I've competed with for many years and all the fellow lifesavers. The great thing about this movement, Surf Life Saving, is you can, have, you can be sitting on the beach with someone who's 70 talking to someone who's 17 and you know they're sharing an experience. But it's fantastic. The girls definitely inspire me. Yeah. Lizzie and Gemma are amazing. Yeah, and they train so hard and it's great to see the effort they put in and, and it's good that we can go around and have a bit of yeah. fun too. Yeah, I just won the 50 to 54 beach sprint and I'm very happy. <laughs> we have a fantastic team. Our team today won the relay and we've been together for many, many years with many Australian golds under our belt. So we have a great camar camaraderie and uh, great competition between all of us. Uh, it's good competition. Joel and uh, Chad are two of the best guys in Australia in our age group. Uh, I think at last Aussies we've only got first, second and third. Uh, so it's good competition and uh, happy to win. <laughs> My hot tip for the ski leg, I'll tell you what everyone else tells me. Um, don't stop paddling. <laughs> Start slow and then ease back. You know, but that's, that's more about uh, understanding where your surroundings are. And, uh, you know, it's always nice to be coming around the cans and looking at that many people in front of you. So. <laughs>